In 1957, an experiment was being performed on honeybees, and during that experiment, a small mistake resulted in a big problem. After the experiment, it was seen that the bees became more aggressive and violent. It was as if these bees would not spare anyone if they came out of their experiment container, and that unfortunate thing happened. Welcome back to our new video. This incident happened in a laboratory in Brazil's Rio Claro, when Dr. Warwick was doing an experiment with honey bees. As the honey production of European bees is very low, Dr. Warwick wanted to change the DNA of these bees, so that they are able to make more honey. For altering the DNA, honey bees from South Africa were brought in, which were made to mate with the European bees. This experiment was performed in a laboratory where the bees had built a hive inside a container. The experiment was a complete success, and these new species of bees were termed Africanized bees. Everything was going according to plan, but Dr. Warwick was quite worried after seeing the aggressiveness of these bees, seeing their aggressive stance, he felt apprehensive about it, and then Dr. Warwick decided not to let these bees go out of the container. But due to the negligence of a lab worker, a big colony of bees escaped from the container, and soon after they escaped their violent nature became evident. They started attacking people and it was not possible to tame these bees. They started making their own hives and grew rapidly. From Brazil, they have spread across America and have killed more than thousands of people, and this is the reason they are called killer bees. They are more black and more dangerous than other bees. They attack anyone within 500 meters of their hive and if they decide to attack any human or animal, they surprisingly chase them for up to half a kilometer, and like other bees these killer bees also die after they sting. To know why do they die after they sting? We need to know why bees attack. Be it any variety of bee, they attack humans only if they feel danger. Normal bees attack anyone who touches their hive, but because Africanized bees is being very aggressive, attack humans who are at a distance and passing through that area. While collecting pollen from the flowers these bees do not harm anyone. Unless anyone sets foot on them mistakenly or hinders their work, they get pissed off and will definitely sting, but they had no idea that they would die soon after the sting. Actually their sting is like a dagger with small teeth whose direction is upward, and when they sting those teeth on their sting stick like a hook on the skin, and that's why it becomes impossible to remove the sting. When the bee applies force to bring that sting out, it gets detached from the bee's body and along with the sting, their muscles, nerves and parts of their digestive system come out, and thus the bee dies soon after it stings. Fortunate are the people who got stung by only one bee because these bees attack in large numbers. While passing by their hive, if you are stung by one bee, within seconds the whole colony attacks, but how do the other bees come to know where and whom they need to attack? Actually the honey they gather in their hive is their food. They store it for their bad times, especially when it is not the season for pollen. Many bees guard their hives. When humans come close to their hive, they sense it from distance, and if one bee is successful in stinging, at that time a chemical is released which is called a pheromone. Experts believe that as soon as the pheromone dissolves in the air, it acts as an alarm signal for the other bees. That's why it is better to leave the place where you have been stung by a bee. It is also very important to know how dangerous their stings can be. When their sting enters our body it leaves a toxin named melatonin. Our bodies automatically start working to fight this toxin, and it is the reason why that portion of the body swells up. It is a defense mechanism in our body that makes the part swell up to fight against melatonin. If the sting goes near the blood vessel, it will mix with the blood and spread throughout the entire body, which can have dangerous consequences, and people who have melatonin allergies are at greater risk. That's why if a bee stings you first try to remove the sting because, as long as it stays there, it will continuously pump the toxin inside the body. Share your thoughts about the video in comment section. We are sure that you will like this video, so do not forget to subscribe the channel, we will meet you soon with another new video.